He is known for his significant contributions to the field of chemistry and was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1902. He is recognized for his discovery of the Fischer esterification and the development of the Fischer projection. His name is Emil Fischer. In the world of chemistry, there is one name that stands above the rest, Emil Fischer. Born on October 9, 1852, in Germany, Fischer's impact on the field is immeasurable. He was a brilliant chemist who made groundbreaking discoveries and was even awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1902. But it was his invention of the Fischer esterification that truly set him apart. The Fischer esterification is a chemical reaction that allows for the formation of esters, which are important compounds used in various industries. Fischer's discovery of this process revolutionized the field of organic chemistry and opened up new possibilities for the synthesis of organic compounds. But Fischer's contributions didn't stop there. He also developed the Fischer projection, a symbolic way of drawing asymmetric carbon atoms. This projection system is still widely used today and has become an essential tool in organic chemistry. In addition to his discoveries, Fischer also hypothesized the lock and key mechanism of enzyme action. This theory proposed that enzymes and their substrates fit together like a lock and key, allowing for specific biochemical reactions to occur. His hypothesis laid the foundation for our understanding of enzyme function and has had a profound impact on the field of biochemistry. Emil Fischer's legacy as a chemist and scientist is one that continues to inspire and influence generations of researchers. His discoveries and theories have shaped the field of chemistry, and his name will forever be remembered as a pioneer in the realm of organic chemistry and biochemistry. In 1875, Emil Fischer, a young and ambitious chemist, made a groundbreaking discovery in the field of organic chemistry. He uncovered the existence of a new compound of hydrogen and nitrogen called hydrazine and its organic derivatives. This finding opened up a world of possibilities as Fischer delved deeper into the properties and reactions of these compounds. Fischer's curiosity led him to investigate the relationship between hydrazine derivatives and diazo compounds. He observed that these derivatives readily combined with other substances, giving rise to a plethora of previously unknown compounds. One of the most significant condensation products he discovered was the hydrazone, formed through the interaction of hydrazines with aldehydes and ketones. This finding shed light on the structure and properties of these compounds, confirming the theories put forth by his mentor, von Bayer. Driven by his thirst for knowledge, Fischer's attention turned to the vibrant magenta dyes known as Fuchsin. Collaborating with his cousin Otto Fischer, he published influential papers in 1878 and 1879, revealing that these dyes were derivatives of a compound called triphenylmethane. Their research contributed to the understanding of the chemistry behind these vibrant dyes and paved the way for further advancements in the field. Fischer's dedication to expanding scientific knowledge extended to the study of compounds related to uric acid. Building upon von Bayer's groundwork, he made significant contributions to the understanding of purines. He determined the formulae of various compounds, including uric acid, xanthine, caffeine, and theobromine. Fischer's research on purines not only unveiled their structures but also led to the development of derivatives with potential therapeutic applications. you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.